Hello friends, welcome back to All and Long. Today I'm going to talk about microfilaments, a medical video lecture on microfilaments. Microfilaments. Okay. So before starting a discussion on this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends. Okay, now I'm going to talk about briefly. This is a physiology lecture, medical video lecture on physiology. This is a microfilament. Okay. Um, let me talk briefly because this is for USMLE step one. Okay. Let's talk. Let me try a diagram over here. Because the figure talks much. Okay. Right? Okay. So microfilaments, you can see from the diagram, is they are long and fine thread-like structures and they have the diameter of 3 to 6 nanometers, okay? Whereas intermediate filaments, they are the size of 10 nanometers, microtubules, they are the size of 20 to 30 nanometers and the length can vary, okay, for microtubules. These filaments are made up of a non-tubular contractile protein called actin and the myosin. Very famous proteins, you know, actin and myosin. So microfilaments are made up of two things. One is actin and the other one is myosin. Okay. Remember, they are non-tubular contractile proteins. Actin is more abundant. It's more abundant than myosin. Okay, so the microfilaments are present throughout the cytoplasm and uh, what you call the microfilaments present in the endoplasmic, endoplasm, ecto, sorry, ectoplasm contains only actin molecules. Okay, remember, if they are present in ectoplasm, they are contain only actin. Very good. And those which are present in the endoplasm, they have the both. One is actin and the myosin. Did you get me? If they are present on the in the what you call ectoplasm, they contain only actin molecules. If they are present in the endoplasm, they contain both actin and the myosin. Okay, now let's talk about the important part of this that is functions. Okay, one the microfilaments they give the structural strength to the cell as the other filaments like microtubules intermediate filaments they also give the structural strength you can call it a strength okay to the cell and they are responsible for the cellular movements like contraction contraction Then cytokinesis, okay, and gliding, okay, guys. And the other function is it provides resistance to the cell against pulling forces, resistance, Okay, it provides resistance to the cell against what you call uh, pulling forces. So these are the important functions you should remember about the uh, uh, microfilaments. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And please do subscribe and please do share our videos with your friends. Thank you, take care.